Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about multiple channel distortions. I've done a lot of work in the last 18 months in our multiple channel room next to our two channel room in the studio here. And I've set some goals, I've developed some strategies, and I've worked my way through to the logical conclusion. And I'm going to summarize a, a little bit of the findings here. The goal in the multiple channel room was the same resolution that we get with two channels, okay? That was the goal. I don't know if it was realistic or not. doesn't make any difference. That was the goal, and then we developed the appropriate steps to work towards that goal, obviously starting with low frequency management first and foremost. What do we have with two channel? We'll have a center image, width and height. Yeah, people say you get depth. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, if you have enough space, I, I suppose. But most of the systems I see, the speakers are right against the front wall. There's no depth in that presentation value. So width and height for sure you can get. It's a little bit difficult with two channel, not impossible. It's really difficult with multiple channels to get that same resolution. I have a processor in our multiple channel room that lets me switch between multiple channel processing and stereo. So I can go back and forth between the two and the resolution is night and day different. I would say 20% different, maybe 25% in some cases. So. What is two channel? It's a balance, remember, between the direct and the reflected energy. The pure direct energy from our left and right speakers is what we want, but we don't get all that we want. We get reflections constantly from the room. So, and then these go back this way, and these go back this way, and it's a balancing act between the reflections of the room and the direct energy from the speakers, because the direct is a straight line energy, which is the purest. It contains less room sound, right? Shortest distance between two points, a straight line. Sidewall, primary, secondary, tertiary reflections. Now we take that problem and we add multiple sources with multiple channel systems. Multiple balancing acts here to get that kind of resolution. Here's, <laughs> here's a picture of what I've done to handle those resolutions. I put our foam technology between the channels. It's kind of interesting, you know, way more definition out of them, a little bit uh, less sacrifice in sound field, but it's a trade-off. That's how you learn. So controlling reflections is very, very critical. So always a balance between the direct and the reflected energy. More direct sources, more speakers, more reflections, larger rooms. It's, it's difficult. So I think the goal revised for multiple channel systems is to get that screen focus. Get that image staying on the screen through multi multiplicity of sources. You want to try a bunch of, you want to try a cappella arrangements, you want to try uh, live venues with full bands. Try all different kinds of, of source material and make sure that that screen focus, that image stays just like in two channel. We want the image to be strong in the middle. Well, we want the image to stay strong on the screen. We don't want it drifting. So when a car goes left and right, the audio goes left and right, and it follows the video, and there's no lag, and that can be done. So I think screen focus is more important with multiple channel systems. Getting the same resolution as we get with two, I haven't been able to do it yet. I'll keep trying, but I'm, after 18 months, kind of under <laughs> the opinion that I'm not going to be able to get it, but it's a noble effort and it's, it's uh, worth chasing, but uh, we'll see uh, in our new facility uh, with a larger room what that does too. So that'll be a little bit fun. So multiple channel distortions, be aware of them, be aware of the goal, screen focus, and adjust everything accordingly. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.